Hi, this is Trey with Various Technologies, and today we're going to take a quick look at logging in and checking your email with Office 365 using Outlook on the web. Uh, you can go to a custom URL if your company has given you one. Otherwise, you can always go to login.microsoftonline.com, and you will pick your account if you've been there before, or type in your email address if there's a blank, put in your password, and it will take you to the default login. Um, choose these options however you'd like. We're going to skip all the good stuff here and go straight to Outlook. And this interface is just it's very similar to Outlook. You've got your email. You can send new messages. Uh, creates a, in a new pane there on the right. You can use this button on the top right to pop it out to a separate window. Um, some common things that people are needing right when they get started uh, are your signature and out of office reply and some other settings. You're going to go to your gear icon in the top right. Focused inbox is something a lot of people like to turn off, um, changing how uh, small or large the information is showing up. Uh, and also conversation view. Um, almost everybody I work with prefers to turn off the conversation view. Uh, so those are kind of common options right there. Um, if you'll click on view Outlook settings and compose and reply, this is where your email signature is. You can modify that however you would like. Uh, make sure you click Save once you make changes. And then also your automatic replies. This is your out of office area. You could set time ranges, email messages for people inside your company, and different ones for people outside your company. Um, maybe you want to only send it to your people who are in your contacts. I'll do some other options real quick while we're here. Uh, the calendar options, uh, what are what is your work week and what are your daily hours? That helps with the view. Um, okay, also down at the bottom here we have our calendar. And you can change your view, day, work week, week, month. And if you have any shared calendars, which we'd go over in another video, um, you can access them here to see those people's calendars, or maybe it's a group calendar. Um, you could use the split view or not. That would be overlay where it's all together there. And then people is what they call contacts. So uh, people is where you go and you can. Um, either add a new contact or and just put in some basic information and there you go you have a new contact uh, one of the things that some people get a little bit confused on is where's all the places for the phone numbers well down they only show you what you have put in so down here you can add uh, phone numbers and uh, addresses and other things, and then it will show it once it's put in there. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of options you can go through um, on the View All Outlook Settings area. So navigate through there, uh, look at how everything looks and dates and time formats. But uh, if you have any questions, then feel free to contact us.